Hello there, thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today, and I'm Pete Howard, and uh, boy, what a psychedelic concert poster from 1966 to show you today. Holy cats, Andy Warhol, The Velvet Underground, and The Exploding Plastic Inevitable on their legendary 1966 trek, you could say, or a series of shows around the United States, which created some great posters and amazing poster art as well. Now this says on it, interestingly, the Chrysler Museum, so someone, you know, might leap to the conclusion it was in Detroit, but no, it's very much the Chrysler Art Museum in Provincetown, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And, uh, you know, I have blogged other Warhol VU posters here, but this one just has such special art. Look at that purple and green and, uh, you know, with white mixed in and stuff. It just, it just looks so nice. The artwork, by the way, is credited to Glasic in 1966, but I haven't found out anything more about the artist. Really an imaginative poster, just crazy. And, of course, with these things, figuring out the words can be part of the challenge, so I'll go ahead and do that for you real quickly in this blog, and that is it says, It's Total Andy Warhol, taking it, of course, from the top. The XXX Exploding Plastic in, 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 inevitable. <laughs> that's, that's such clever wording and nice artwork. And then it's got two eyes and a mouth, you can see in the purple area. And then five sets of legs uh, in green down there below and suitably hip uh, bell bottoms and even one uh, short skirt. So, and then vertically, I don't know if I can really hold this and show you with my finger, it is take, it's, a, it's a vertical sentence there. It says, the Velvet Underground and Nico the Chrysler Museum, again it leaves out the word art, August 31 through September 4. And of course not the year, but it was 66. And then, I'll try it over here, over here in the green area down the left hand side, it says it's free, but it's free is upside down, which is hilarious, and then it says dumb in the margin. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe the artist, you know, Glasek thought it was dumb to not charge admission or something, and that was his cheeky way of showing it, I don't know. Um, but then it says, you know, it's light sound, it's happening, and the it's in that case is in the margin as well. You can make it out there. And then down in the corner it says, it's landing, <laughs> you know, and that word is both backwards and upside down. So, you know, it's psychedelic concert posters. That's what we love about them. Still, you compare it to a boxer, right? A boxing style. They actually made one for this very event. What a difference, right? That's just a telephone pole poster that gives you the information and nothing else. And there's no mention of tickets or the fact that it's free or anything. But this is an event poster that was put on telephone poles. And obviously this was the really cool, beautiful masterpiece. Now, it's not on the poster, but there were two shows a night over those dates. And on Friday there was a midnight show as well for this Labor Day weekend in Provincetown, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I mean, that's so far removed. You know, East Coast people, New Englanders, might have a better idea, but boy, this native Californian was blown away when I found out that this, the little red circle there, thanks to Google Maps, is the location of Provincetown, Massachusetts. I mean, talk about a beach community far removed. Gosh darn, isn't that more like, you know, um, Patty Page in Old Cape Cod or something? But you can imagine how the uh, Velvet Underground and Nico and Warhol and his posse, everything, must have... Um, captivated that town both negatively and positive, positively with their presence. That must have been really crazy. And, and to show indeed how crazy the shows were, um, one of them was interrupted by the police who came in, uh, who, who came in and was trying to get back some stolen, like, you know, whips and chains or something. They had to untie one of Andy Warhol's posse who was tied to a post and indeed about to be whipped by female participants. So it was, you know, what can I say? The East Coast equivalent of the Merry Pranksters and the, the whole different ethos. Um, and, you know, the acid tests out, uh, out west, you had the, uh, you know, exploding plastic inevitable, <laughs> large, large in the east, just crazy stuff. So, but soon thereafter, not long after this, just a few weeks, Warhol and the Velvet Underground would split as a management client team. And uh, interestingly, the, the VU's first album came out about six months later after this, uh, you know, the series of events. And um, I don't know if it's true or not, but I can say I have read a claim that on the back of their first album cover, that picture of them live was taken uh, during this series of shows in Provincetown, Cape Town, Massachusetts. So that's nice, you know, when you've got a matching picture 
of some note, some celebrity, to match a concert poster that doesn't have one. So, But who needs a picture on this one, right? Oh my gosh, these colors and everything make it just so wonderful. And just the epitome, the peak of craziness, again on the East Coast at least, um, it matched the Merry Pranksters, just craziness of psychedelic 1966. So, wonderful poster, great to show it to you, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you next time for something else. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.